Hi everyone, this is Daisy here, aka Professional High Priestess, and I'm here to drop the long overdue karmic channeling, okay? So, oh my goodness, it's just been a lot going on. Um, I got several different channelings because there's a, a lot going on within the whole collective of karmics, okay? You guys have to also understand, it's a hierarchy, even within karmics. You got your bottom of the barrel karmics. We know what that looks like. I'm not even going to go into that. And then you even got some of your elite karmics, okay? So you guys have to remember that too when you're watching some of these channelings so that you can apply what resonates to your situation. So um, what I'm being told is that these karmics have been extended an olive branch by the divine to change their ways and to get on the divine ship before it leaves the port completely. Because the port, the, sh the ship left a long time ago, right? So what I mean by that olive branch was extended, meaning that they got another opportunity to change their ways and do better. And a lot of that uh, chance and opportunity was in the ways in which they treated and dealt with certain people. See, a lot of the problem with some of these karmics, like I told you, they don't think straight. They don't live in the same reality that we live in. They're very narcissistic, they're very self-centered, and they're very mentally ill. So when they come across certain people, places, and things, they look at it as an opportunity to play games or dominate or subjugate or that type of thing. And these karmics are really learning two lessons right now. That sometimes your lesson is through other people, right? And certain people should not be tested. I'm one of those people. And another thing that they are also learning now is that the most high sees everything, right? And that while you're playing on one end, acting like, you know, you're the real divine feminine or the divine masculine and that you're not a karmic and then you're upstanding and your actions and your words are not lining up. A lot of them are starting to realize that there's a consequence that you have to pay for that lack of integrity. And that lack of that consequence for the lack of, of, of integrity is exposure, right? It's loss of income. It's loss of respect, right? And it's also depression and anxiety as well because now your mask has come off, okay? So a lot of karmics are dealing with that. I'm also being told that a lot of this exposure is long overdue because some of these karmics, they've been able to, because remember, they're shapeshifters. We talked about this. In the anatomy of a karmic reading, you guys need to go watch that because I clearly break down the elements of a karmic and how they operate. A lot of these karmics are really good at, at, at shapeshifting and playing victim and acting like they're so sweet and innocent and they'll go to church on Sunday and then be with the witch doctor on Monday, that type of thing. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of that is being exposed because it's gone on for too long. Because remember I said the divine has been giving them opportunity to switch because the most high is benevolent like that you know even regardless of all the fucked up shit that you may have in your birth chart or your akashic records they still want to see people get to a higher plane because god loves all all of its manifestations so with that being said it's easier for it was easier for these comics to operate in falsehood because they move with this term um oh i move in silence you're not moving in silence you're moving in karma you see what I'm saying? Because not only are the ancestors and the most high seeing all, there's empaths who are real empaths who can really see behind, uh, see uh, past the facade and that you paint for other people and what that, what not. Okay. And this is what's happening with these karmics. They're running out of games to play. They're running out of masks to wear. They're running out of lies to tell. You see what I'm saying? Especially for these karmics who run around playing spiritual. Now they see that there are specific tools that can expose them in their falsehood. Right. So now because we're moving into a, um, I will say a higher level of commitment to our spiritual practice and our integrity. A lot of these karmics are not making the mark at all. Right. One, because they were already karmics, too. But it's because they operate out of that. I move in silence, doing messy ass shit in the background and thinking that they're not going to get caught up for it. It all it all it always catches up. Every dog or dogette <laughs> has its day. Every karmic has its day. You see what I'm saying? So that is currently what's happening in the collective of karmics. Another thing that I'm being told is um, a lot of y'all need to really learn how to practice discernment, okay? Because I see a lot of individuals, because remember, there's a hierarchy of karmic. Just because someone acts lower vibrational than you doesn't mean that you're the divine feminine and they're the karmic. You could still be a karmic and still be dealing with the low grade karmic, right? You can just be a level eight karmic and you're dealing with a level three karmic. Y'all are both karmics, you see? But this is what I'm talking about in terms of having discernment. Individuals will show you who they are by the fruit that they bear on their tree. There's a passage in the, I think that's a passage in the Bible. Um, There was an award ceremony that I went to. I won this powerful woman of the Bay Award some years ago. I think it was like about two years ago. And I had to give a speech and I was so nervous. But there was a room full of women of color who, the most powerful women there in the Bay Area, in, t in tech. We had the director of um, marketing from Salesforce. I got an award with her. 
other powerful women were there. I was just like, I felt honored, right? To be in alignment with those and getting awarded for good work. But I felt like I needed to share this message. And the message that I shared is now is the time for us to start changing our behavior because eventually you guys are going to start bearing fruit on your tree. And that fruit is going to be looking like strange fruit. And I'm not talking about Billie Holiday because that's a, um, there's a whole song called uh, Strange Fruit by Billie Holiday. And she's it's in reference to um, the mass lynchings that were going on of black people. And she was referring to them as the strange fruit on the tree. And how can you walk around and see what's going on? You see what I'm talking about? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that you planted seeds of fuckery, right? And now when the tree of fuckery and the fruit of fuckery is now harvesting, you don't, you can't hide it because there's a whole big ass tree of the seeds that you've been planting. So that's what these karmics are going through now. They're going through exposure and they're also going through the cognitive dissonance of their exposure. And they're getting deeper into their psychosis and their narcissism and whatnot because they have nowhere to hide. You see what I'm saying? Because all the masks, they run out of all the masks, right? So another thing that's happening, these karmics are in the nine of wands reverse, uh, nine of wands upright and reverse type of energy. They're finding, they're trying to find new ways and tactics. They flip from two of swords to nine of wands. Should I start, should I keep doing it or should I not? Whether or not, if you're a karmic and you're watching that, that's up to you. But you also have to realize, remember, that fruit is now germinating and it is now growing. And people are now going to the tree to pick the fruit and it's not what they thought that it was. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to know if you're a karmic, what are the fruits that you're bearing? What's happening in your finances? What are you doing behind the scenes? If This is the number one thing that you can tell if you're a karmic. Are you facilitating certain actions that if someone found out that you were doing that, would you be embarrassed? And could you still say that you are the person that you tell people that you are? If that's the, if, if you can't answer yes to that question, I can actually go out and say I do A, B, C, and D and not be ashamed of it and not hide it. You're not a karmic. If you can't say, actually, no, I do A, B, C, and D and I'm ashamed and I don't want people to know that type of stuff, you are a karmic. And then if you sit up there and lie after you've been exposed, you're an even bigger karmic. Matter of fact, you've ascended past being a karmic you're now just a demonic entity and you're an archon because no human being should ever like lie that much to the point where they believe their own lies you've turned down into a hologram and you can't even be taken seriously or trusted okay so that's what's happening with these karmics yes because they're in a they're they're in a world of mental illness and confusion because for so long they've lied to themselves i'm a good person this bad thing happened to me i'm a good person i helped that person yes you can still so this is the thing here. It's not mutually exclusive. You can do nice things for people. You could have been someone who's experienced abuse and you can still be a karmic and be trifling. Come on now. Just like I can still be divine and still have experienced things that are undivine at the hands of other people. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to give an analogy here. So a lot of these karmics too, they rely on that covert narcissism, right? That all oh, damsel in distress type of energy, what was me? These things have happened to me, et cetera, et cetera. No one's discrediting from your story if you've been hurt, harmed, and injured. But when you start to facilitate specific type of actions against other people that are also low vibrational and to hurt, harm, and injure them purposely, um, all of that, oh, I'm a victim and this person did this and that to me, that's null and void. Because you are actually that person that did harm to you, meaning that you have not healed from what happened because you've actually embodied now the demonic energy that that individual that abused you put onto you. You see what I'm saying? That's why healing is so important for all these individuals running around on YouTube looking for uh, divine updates and what's happening with the masculine. You should be worried about your own healing so that you're not a karmic so that when shit hits the fan, you know, oh, wow, I'm actually, I'm, I'm a real divine feminine from the karmic. It's not, a, it's, you're not confused about who was who and what's what. And that's another thing too. With this whole craziness that's been going on on, uh, on YouTube, it just kind of like shocks me how unaware people are of themselves and how like just how how like distorted do you have to be to feel like your opinion matters when you're a karmic. You don't even have rank in the physical world to tell me shit for, then you, for you to try to come and tell me shit in the spiritual realm. That's another thing. These karmics don't know their rank. Because they deal with other low vibrational people that they confuse and manipulate that put them on a pedestal. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of those pedestals are getting knocked down for all these karmics. Workplace karmics, spiritual karmics, uh, the karmics that are wrapped up with your DM or your DF, um, family karmics, friend karmics, right? It's not just one specific type of karmic. It's all karmics. Their facades are falling off because they cannot handle the heat of transformation that's coming down with all that's going on in society because they did not do the work. You see, they didn't, they were not initiated naturally. 
They put spells on themselves or went to fake shamans and healers to get titles and initiations, etc., etc., thinking that it was going to give them the title of divine feminine, not knowing that it's the trials and tribulations that you go through that make you divine feminine versus a karmic. And I'm not saying that you have to go through a whole bunch of trauma and heal to be a divine feminine, but no, it's how you handle yourselves as you're, as you're going day to day and as you're dealing with the trials and tribulations in your life. It's also the ways in which you embody internalized oppression or the ways in which you heal and transform internalized oppression, which continues to perpetuate larger structural issues like racism, sexism, violence, transphobia, etc., right? That continue to hurt, harm, and injure us. And block us from our psychic gifts because we're so chasing how to heal and how to stay out of poverty, we can't even tap into our gifts. You see? That's a real divine feminine. Do you think systemically? Or are you just thinking about your masculine and the karmic and when you're gonna go into union? Because if that's the case, you're not you're a karmic. So, anyways, false pride has landed these karmics into situations that are permanent, right? But you always know pride always cometh before a major fall. Before a major fall. That's why I always tell y'all, you got to be careful with the way that you move because the choices that you make may not be worth the losses that you take. And the choices that you make, right, may not be worth the heavy emotions, guilt, depression, sadness, self-hatred, disgust with yourself that you feel after facilitating some of these actions and get, then getting caught for it, right? So anyways... Let's get into the cards because I'm done talking, but I always like to do channelings first so you guys know that these channelings are authentic and then they show up in the cards. Let's get ready. Get ready, because I'm on one. So, uh, I think I want to start with, um, let me see. Okay. The Nature versus Nurture deck. We're going to have to get a couple decks out here. I'm going to do a, a spread for us. We got the Nature versus Nurture. Let's get the Goddess deck because I feel like right now, because today is Ishtar's day, right? They call it Easter the Resurrection. And it's so funny that this is the Resurrection, right? Today is all about the Resurrection of Christ, etc. But you also know, too, that after Jesus came out of the, the tomb of Resurrection, the first person that he exposed himself to was a what? A woman. Yes. So I feel like there's going to be a very potent message in here for the divine, the real divine feminines, the karmics who think that they're divine feminines, the karmics who know they're karmics, and the karmics who don't even know if they're a karmic or a divine feminine, they don't even know what's going on, okay? I feel like we're going to get some really powerful messages here today. All right. And for some people, like, why do you channel karmic energies? Because you guys have to understand this is a long game. It's, it's spiritual warfare. And if you're at war, um, don't you need to know strategies and tactics for your enemies? Come on now. This is called the art of war. Read that book. So let's see here. I want to get started with the, um, let's start with the nature versus nurture deck and then we'll move. Dear bright and well loving ancestors, please give us some insight into what's happening in the uh, collective of karmics right now. What's happening in the collective of karmic energies right now for those who are on their divine path as divine masculines and feminines. What's happening in the collective of karmics right now? Show us their energies, please. Here we have kinship in the reverse, sea otter. What's happening with the karmics right now? They're realizing that they're not kin to the divine feminine bloodline. Okay, well, that can be that. Messages for the, uh, what's happening with the karmic right now? Sun and moon union, wild woman free. This is my karmic card. Let's see what's at the top of the deck. Okay, we got that. Now, let's get some this goddess deck here. Dear bright and well-loving ancestors, what's happening in the collective of karmic individuals? Please show us their energies right now. We have Isis, past life. This situation involves your past life memories. This is what I was saying about those Akashic records. That, yes, you may be able to prance around and act like you're the divine feminine or act like you're not a karmic or move and operate in silence when you're really moving in karma. But guess what? Them Akashic records tell all. Women lie, men lie, Akashic records don't lie. The birth chart don't lie. Tarot don't lie. Energy don't lie. But them glamour spells do lie though. <clears throat> you know how that shit goes. Messages regarding the karmic energies right now and what's going on with them. Ayekara. Blossoming. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself in the process. Do not give up. They're going through a transformation process or lack thereof. Remember when I said that they've been extended an olive branch to change their energy and change their ways, right? Wow, we have Ishtar at the bottom of the deck. Boundaries. Hey, Mama Ishtar came through on her birthday. 
She said, yep. She ain't here to play. It says, love yourself enough to say no to others. Demand on your time and energy. I feel like another thing that this is saying with the Ishtar is that these karmics are starting to learn now their lack of boundaries, their lack of respect for human life, their lack of respect and love for themselves. I think it's hitting hard. The realization, the wheat is being separated from the chaff is what I'm hearing. Let's get into the energy oracle. Dear bright and well-loving ancestor, what's happening with the um, collective of karmic energies right now? I feel hella good after I had to climb that damn mountain. I mean, shit, my body's hella sore, but I feel good. And I'm going to get all you guys' personals out. I Everyone who's already emailed me the past two days, you guys already got yours. If you just emailed me, you're going to get uh, yours ne tw next 24 hours, okay? We got the temple path here. Mm, okay. I feel like what this is saying with the temple path is these karmics are really trying to figure out what path they want to be on because now they realize that they can't play both sides because that is how you lose integrity and that's how you get exposed. Chasing two rabbits, you won't catch either one. And that's why, like for me personally, I'm so hardcore and so real because I don't have time to be fake or phony because that shit, first of all, it's too much energy and I, I'm already like, I got so much going on that shit, let me just be the realest bitch that I could be because it just takes so much energy to play and lie and, and wear a mask and be a facade. I'm the realest bitch but you'll meet one of the realest, okay? And a lot, that's why people love me and that's why they hate me. But shit, you deal with it. Then we got man holding a heart. Hmm, very interesting. So for some of these karmics too, with this man holding a heart, this I see this in two ways. These karmics are starting to realize that there's no love in the relationships that they've been chasing. They've been chasing after materialistic relationships, and there's no love there. And I also feel like on the other end, these karmics are not feeling, seeing that the person that they're dealing with, they're, they have love for someone else. Oh, yeah. I just felt really like a huge weight lifted off my shoulder as I said that. Then we have contract here with the justice. So some karmics could be going to court or have legal issues, etc. Okay, with the scales of balance here. All right, so let me see what other cards I'm going to pull um, to get a message for us. Let's get into this, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull a... Oh, no. How can we do a reading without our astrology cards? Let me get those astrology cards out. Let's see. What messages do we have from the planet? And I really want y'all to go ahead and watch that Harriet Tubman channeling. It was deep. Get some space. Dear Bright and Well-Loving Ancestors, what messages do you have from the planets regarding the karmic energies? What's happening in the karmic collective right now? Akashic Records is also a contract. These karmics are realizing that, whoa, they have past life contracts here with the um, ISIS and the past life that they are still fulfilling and they are still operating out of that are very karmic. While they're running around claiming divine feminine, they haven't even cleaned up the past life. I've cleaned up at least two to three of my past lives. This shit was hard, but I needed to. Aquarius right here. Star card energy. Oh, look, at, we have the top of the deck, Libra, scales of uh, reverse, scales of balance. These karmics have been committing injustices, all kinds of madness and chaos has been going on. But I feel like with this being in the reverse and the contract card here too, so these karmics are being brought to justice. Some of these karmics are going to be going to court. Some of them are going to be in the eight of swords, uh, metaphorically and literally, okay? Because they've done too much dirt. Like I said, the, I, when they thought that they were moving in silence, being sneaky and messy and trifling and underhanding, underhanded, they were really moving more towards that Eight of Swords energy. By the time they open their eyes, themselves, doors are going to be locked. Solitary confinement. Messages for the karmic energies right now. What do you have for us, please? When love calls. We got Cancer in the reverse. Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. Okay. I feel like here, too, a lot of these karmics are recognizing that they are still carrying a lot of wounding from past lives regarding to their femininity, regarding to how they engage with their mother energy, because Isis is also Hathor. You guys remember that in the Egyptian pantheon? She evolves into Hathor. Hathor is the cow, cow goddess that represents the mother energy. These karmics are also recognizing how they've used their femininity or their womanhood or their motherhood or lack thereof as a weapon. It's what I'm seeing here and what I'm picking up in the energies. Let's get into this after tarot. Okay. Wow, we got a lot to clarify here. Whew. Give me strength, most high, because I know you're going you gonna to channel through me. Okay, don't shoot the messenger. Just shoot the... Uh, don't shoot the messenger. Just accept the message and keep it pushing. Okay? Shit. Clarify sea otter kinship. With the seven of swords reversed. 
Wow. That's, that was quick. <laughs> Top of the deck, we got the Ten of Wands. Burdened by their own lies. Burdened by their own uh, fuckery. Burdened by their own game. Like I said, when they thought that they were moving in silence, they were really moving in the Seven of Swords reverse because as they were tiptoeing, right? Tiptoeing and being messy, being sneaky, thought they were making off with that Five of Swords in their hand, being a, a, a secret opponent, backhanded energy. I want to say I apologize for my nails, y'all. The um, nail salon isn't open. It's just a Virgo in me. I'm neurotic about that. Anyways, they stepped right into their own trap. Now, guess what? They're in the hangman energy because they're hung up by a strip. They're hung up by their foot. That happened quick. Now they're in the Ten of Wands energy, Sagittarius and Aquarius energy. We have Aquarius out here too. Aquarius, uh, Saturn is in Aquarius right now. This Saturn and Aquarius transit, I told y'all, is going to be exposing a lot of people. It is not here to play. It barely started on um, March 20th and so much has happened already. I was like, I thought it was going to take years or uh, some more months, right? These karmics are burdened by their own actions. But this is the thing. You make up your bed. Now you lay in it. T Grizzly. Clarify sun and moon union. With the five of pentacles in the reverse and the ace of pentacles. Okay. So something that I'm seeing here um, with this union card, these karmics are starting to realize that they're not the real feminine. They're, they're not like the real divine partner, that the individual that they could have been chasing, calling their masculine, etc., is not their person. And that's why they're out in the cold and they're not getting the offers that they want because this is not a union that's for them. Reality is starting to hit for a lot of people. I feel like that's exactly what's happening because especially everyone has to kind of be inside. They can't move around and distract themselves and avoid their, their traumas and things like that. They're having to face the reality of what is. Some of these karmas could have even done magic to, to stop unions and things like that, claiming they're the divine feminine and whatnot, and it's all backfiring now. And I feel like a lot of these karmics, too, are dealing with a lot of financial issues, too, because of their, their karmic mess. Clarify wild woman free. That's my karmic card. Karmic, 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 karmic chameleons. You see how they shapeshift? <laughs> Clarify wild woman free. With the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Then you have the Nine of Wands. Remember I was just talking about this Nine of Wands too? Battle-weary. Tired. These karmics too are, could be having health issues with the Nine of Pentacles because this is Virgo energy. Virgo is all about health. But I also feel too that these karmics with the wild woman here, they're recognizing how their promiscuity and the things that they've done with their body and their womb space, right, make them not divine. Because this wild woman card too, like with all that red, that's like root chakra, like sexuality, uh, survival, that type of thing, primal energy. And these karmics have been operating at a very low vibrational energy. You can't call yourself a divine feminine and being hella promiscuous. No, because as a true divine feminine, your womb space is connected to your mind. Because your, your mind is also a womb and your womb is also a mind. So if you're letting any type of energies into your space, that's the science of the unk. If you're letting any type of energies into your womb space and they're all clogged and dirty and, and karmic, what do you think that's going to do? It's going to block your ability to do what? To see clearly. Now you got scales over your eyes. Okay? So that's what I'm seeing here. Some of these karmics... <sighs> They thought that the masculine was the masculine, but it was really like a temporary, like, you know, sex work deal or something like that. Or, you know, these karmics are now realizing that the situation that they are in was really like money based. And now they're out in the cold facing financial issues, too, is what I'm seeing here. Nine of Pentacles and uh, five of Pentacles is four of Pentacles. They were so kind of busy, you know, being greedy and stingy and in a scarcity mentality. Now they're really out in the cold and having to fend for themselves. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for the karmic energies. With the four swords, yeah, and they're in a space of resting and recovering from the, the drama and the chaos that they're going through. I feel like a lot of these karmics are having tower moments, and it's financial, but Pluto is in Capricorn right now, and so is Jupiter. Both of those signs, Pluto, the planet of chaos, destruction, and transformation, Jupiter, the gas giant of expansion, those planets are working together in Capricorn. It's sink or swim. A lot of y'all are going to be getting the blessings of Jupiter. Money, abundance, stability. A lot of you are going to be in the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles reversed, then the Five of Pentacles. Because you played wrong, the game, wrong game at the wrong time. Right now, just with everything that's happening, like astrologically, it's not the time to play. Because as you throw some fucked up energy out, it's boomeranging right, boomeranging right back. Because we're moving into new earth and it's literally like, okay, all the karmic energies are by nature being like neutralized. Because we need to get these other individuals into new earth to start to build the new earth. And these other karmic in individuals got to die with the old earth. Clarify Aquarius, please. Clarify Aquarius with the king of swords here in the reverse. I feel like, too, some of these karmics that are dealing with uh, masculines, 
these masculines have gone complete cold on them. Complete King of Swords. Like, you don't, you don't want to see this. King of Swords in the reverse. The same type of energy that he could have been giving you, ignoring you, uh, uh, treating you really cold and negative, um, all of that type of stuff. The karmic is now getting this same energy back. Yes. If they did spells, I said this, I said this, I said this. If they did spells to separate y'all, to keep y'all from being in union, those spells are now backfiring back onto their connection with the masculine. Now they have to deal with that. Clarify the King of Swords and the Aquarius with the Page of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like these karmics have gotten like messages letting them know that it's over. Ten of Swords. Yeah, letting them know that it's over. This is a situation I no longer want to be involved in. I don't want to have a new beginning and you're out in the cold. Some of these karmics could have too been trying to block your union or stop it with children. And that's not working either. It's backfired back onto them. So either the child is not the masculine or the child is there and they're out in the cold broke now with a baby that's going to be a part of like a loveless relationship, right? Or they're having fertility issues or miscarriages or something like that. Because a lot of these karmics have played with so much heavy magic that it's impacted their health with the Nine of Pentacles. This is what I was saying. Surely you could not think that you can play all those type of games, Ten of Wands, and think that nothing was going to happen to you? Absolutely not. Clarify Cancer, please, for the Divine Feminine. Sorry, for the uh, Karmic Energies, please. What is this cancer energy? My neighbors are going ham with the, um, some uh, sombrero music. <sighs> okay. Clarify cancer, please. For the divine feminines. Oh, for the karmic energies? No, for the karmics. Let me get myself together. Clarify the cancer, please, for the karmic energies. With the ten of pentacles. Family. This is exactly what I was saying. Inheritance. DNA. These karmics are thinking about the ways in which they've inherited poor behaviors um, trifling ass attitudes and tactics and whatnot from their own mothers. Because you guys, I told you, these karmics, go ahead and watch that channeling I did about the divine masculine and his mother. These karmics literally are a rendition, a copy of their mother. Even if they have poor relationships with their mother, they don't realize that they, sh that they are her. Now they're starting to realize that. Now they're starting to realize, that, whoa, this is a long game here that I'm playing with the Ten of Pentacles. Because the Ten of Pentacles 2 is all about like legacy as well. That they're reenacting toxic feminine legacies that are blocking them from their abundance. That are blocking them from the true happiness that they can experience elsewhere. Just not in my life. It's like, you know, shit, you, you, you don't got to leave, but you, you don't got to go home, but you can't be here. So why are you still here? Clarify the cancer. This card didn't come out right. So I'm going to just reshuffle, okay? And if it comes out again, then it's supposed to be clarify cancer with the four cups. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like for some of these karmics, they could have seen their mother go through a lot of rejection, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. And because they didn't heal from that, they kind of picked up those, those same codependent traits and behaviors and reenacted it with the four cups here. I also feel here too with this cancer being in reverse. These some of these karmas can be very emotionally manipulative and use kids and oh we have a family etc to keep the masculine involved because notice here the four of cups is here and the masculine is here in the king of swords reverse. So it's like they're getting rejected trying to use kids. Oh we have a home or we have a business together etc to keep the masculine or we have money together and assets to keep them in the situation and he's like nah I'm I'm not fucking with it period. That cup is getting poured out. Okay? And so was this other extra cup. And I just want two of cups with my true partner. Clarify the four of uh, cups. With the nine of cups. Yes, because they're going to look for their real wish fulfillment with the nine of cups here. And I also feel like, too, a lot of this relationship that these karmics have, they're just based on indulgence and addiction and low vibrational stuff like vanity, like fashion. And let's go to the movie. Let's go, like, you know, be entertained by low vibrational things. I'm not saying going to the movies is low vibrational, but it's like mainstream stuff, you know, like. Okay, well, how are you calling yourself a divine feminine? You still on that capitalistic, like, matrix, co colonized, conditioned stuff. You see what I'm saying? These masculines, they don't want that. So they're going to find something else that's long-term that they can actually, you know, give in him some, then he can feel. That's what they want. Okay? Wow. It's getting really real up in here. So clarify ISIS past life. Clarify Isis past life for these karmic energies with the high priestess, uh, gang, gang. So now, and why I say gang, gang with the high priestess is because 
She's a part of our clique. She's like, no, 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 no. I got them damn Akashic records. I see everything. I know what's going on. Me and Isis, we teaming up, and we not fucking with none of these karmas claiming they divine feminine, but your um, Akashic records indicated that was a lie, okay, in my Mari Povich voice. And because of that, these karmics are not having to really sit and reflect on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not the true divine feminine? No, because surely you couldn't facilitate all levels of fuckery, then think that you're going to get away from it. And then when you get exposed for, exposed for it, now you have to think about if you're a karmic or not. Why weren't you going through that whole process when you were facilitating all the fuckery the other times before? Because you was getting away with it, right? Okay, so now with the high priestess here in the Akashic Records on the Isis, these karmics are even going deeper into their own Akashic Records or they're they're trying to tamper with you and your masculines or feminines to change up your destiny, but it's not going to work. These karmics too are also getting um, downloads and dream channelings and insights into their past life, into the karma that still needs to be cleared up and healed. A lot of it from their mothers, a lot of it can be also from their fathers. And the, the uh, uh, absence of either parent or absence of balance, masculine and feminine energies, even especially with the sun and the moon here, union card, an imbalance between masculine and feminine energies. Clarify, I, uh, Acura, bless, blossoming. I can't say that. I want to say Acura, but you know, that's not her name. Clarify, Acura, blossoming. Some of these karmics are going on their healing path now. Okay. Clarify, Acura, blossoming. So the um, emperor wanted to come out in the reverse, okay? So let's see here. Clarify Ayakura, bl blossoming for the karmic energies with the justice card here. Ooh, okay. So, and then the contract card. I, I truly feel something is happening with court, divorce, proceedings, uh, uh, do documentation, etc. So that people can get out of situations and unions, etc. These karmics are also now facing legal issues because of the fuckery that they decided to facilitate here too. So let's see what's going on here with this emperor in reverse. You are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and your process. Do not give up. This masculine with the emperor in reverse doesn't want to be involved. I don't want to be married to you. I don't think that that's my baby. This is not a relationship that I want to be in. And they are literally like in the emperor reverse because that is their form of justice or they've gotten the legal system involved to help them fully get out of this relationship because some of these masculines, like I said, they're evolving. They're moving away and past karmic situations right? Remember we talked about the collective splitting in two and they no longer want to be involved in something that keeps them low because now they're practicing boundaries with Ishtar here. Remember today's the day of resurrection. And remember Jesus was a divine masculine or Yeshua. I'm so sorry. Yeshua was a divine masculine. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm on the money. The, when he came out of that tomb for resurrection, that's what they say the story is. He first showed himself to a woman. Now the analogy that I see for that is these divine masculines they are going through their transformation, and the first person that they want to come to is who? Their true divine feminine. Because remember, Mary Magdalene was uh, masculine, was uh, Yeshua's uh, feminine. Let me know, because I know that there's Mary Magdalene, and then there's someone else that was like his girl, his lady, and then there was um, his mama. His mama was Mary. Please, you know, let me know, okay? Because I don't want to be messing, messing up stories. But he exposed himself to the woman, and it was Mary Magdalene or someone like that. Like he was that he was like in cahoots with. Um. So there's that. Yeah, definitely resurrection. Definitely resurrection time. Yeah, and I also feel here too, a lot of these masculines are getting karma for the ways in which that they've engaged with this, this uh, karmic. Now they're starting to see the karmic as as bad karma. Now they're starting to see it. And I feel like this karmic, they didn't see it the whole time. The, the, the divine feminine, she's the karmic, she's the problem. No, bitch, you're the problem because every time I deal with you, I'm dealing with the justice system. Every time I deal with you, I get a ticket, or I get locked up, or I lose some money, or I have a headache, or I'm getting sick. You're the problem. Boom. Bye. They put two and two together. It took them not long, but they did it. Clarify Ishtar boundaries. Clarify Ishtar boundaries for the Karmic Collective with the death card here. Yeah. Yeah. Transformation energy, leaving situations behind. I told y'all this is what's happening right now. With this death card too, Scorpionic energy. Remember I talked about that, that depression here? I feel like a lot of these karmics are going, because you see it right in the death card, like the ladies down there crying. I feel like a lot of these karmics are, are, are in a deep depressive state right now because there's a lot of realizations that are happening for them. A lot of masks are falling off. A lot of lies are being exposed. A lot of secret agendas are being exposed. And they have no choice but to transform. And this transformation process, remember I said that they've been given an olive branch. This transformation process that they've been stalling, now they have no choice 
because their livelihood and their health and their survival is now connected to this transformation. Yes. Because like I said, the whole time they thought that they were moving in, in silence, they were really moving in karma. Now you're dealing with That's all I got to say about that, okay? Oh, yeah, and, you're, and they're also dealing with... Uh -huh. But you know how that shit goes. Am I, I love Drake. So, they too irrational. <laughs> they too irrational <laughs> running around. Because you was having... Because you, you wanted to be wild, wild, wild and play all these games and do all these things and cause all this chaos and havoc and stress and drama and whatnot. And now it done backfired on your ass. And now you realize the shit that you dealt out is the shit that you couldn't take. The more games that these karmic played and the more you distance yourself, the more times you win. Because you have to understand when you're these karmic energies, they don't understand when you're dealing with divine people. It's not a matter of who's going to win or who's going to lose. It's a matter of... How quick is my karma going to come and how severe is it going to be? Because divine individuals, they don't play games like this. We don't have to. We wrote the playbook. So how the fuck are you going to come and try to play our game with us? We don't play games. Let me play your game. Oh. They want to play games. And this is, this, this is another thing too. That separates away from the chaff. If you get excited by petty shit and gossip and drama and shit like that, and you get caught doing fuckery and things like that, and your first thing is to lie or manipulate and gaslight, that's how you know you're a karmic. Not only that's how you know you're a karmic, that's how you know you have a mental health problem. Clarify the temple path. Neptune wanted to come out earlier with the astrology cards, so clarify the temple path. With the Knight of Swords in reverse, ooh, someone has picked a new path. They've picked the path of enlightenment, of healing, and there's arguments drama and chaos what i can also see here is this temple path too these karmics were extended an olive branch to change their behavior right by the universe justice okay they were they were shown a little bit of benevolence right because of their past lives but they didn't take it they missed the opportunity as well with the knight of swords yeah clarify the knight of swords clarify the knight of swords with the ace of swords yeah because they were lying they were causing confusion. They were causing chaos with the Ace of Swords here. This is all about lies and not telling truths, right? And causing confusion. And because of that, they missed their opportunity to walk that temple path and really be a divine being. Because really, when it when you're a divine being, there's a lot of sacrifices that you got to make, okay? And for a lot of individuals, if when you have not made those sacrifices and you think that you're going to be the, the, the judge, the jury, and the executioner, not only are you going to be looking hella stupid and game goofy, Five of Pentacles, and the Death card reverse, hella depressed, you are going to also be getting karma for stepping into a field that you had no business stepping into because you stepped into it blindly to come and judge when you had no business. You see? Because that's why in this card, you see the person that has the sword of justice. He has his eyes wide open, ready to cut off the head of a motherfucker when that, when that scales tip to injustice. Okay, let me see that scale tip. Then it's going to be off with your motherfucking head. You got this sword here, and then you got the ace of swords right here too. So these lies that are being told now... People who are really in that high vibrational justice energy, they're starting to see it and they're cutting out all type of lies, games, and all kinds of stuff with this sword of truth. These karmics use this sword in the reverse. And because of that, they missed their opportunity to truly transcend ancestral karma that they are now going to be dealing with in the form of poverty, sickness, illness, and isolation from past lives. Clarify man holding a heart. With the seven of wands and the moon here. Ooh, I told you. Ooh, I told you. Then look at the bottom of the deck. Knight of cups in the reverse. No longer wanting to bring romantic offerings. No longer interested in romantically. So with the moon here and the seven of wands, the man holding a heart, these masculines have exposed to the karmic who their true feminine is. I feel like that's what's really happening, y'all. They're really telling this karmic straight up, like, I can't deal with this. I don't want to be with you. You didn't put magic on me. Trapped me with kids. Kept me with someone from someone that I really love. Caused hella drama with the seven of wands here. I can't be a part of this. They, they really told their truth. They exposed what was in their mind the whole time with the moon card here being reversed. And then with the seven of wands, these karmics are getting blocked. Blocked. With the T at the end. And then a period. Okay? Clarify the contract. Okay? Clarify contract for these karmic energies. Wow. Time flies when you're exposing the truth. <laughs> Clarify contract with the four of pentacles reverse. There could be something with money here, a payout, etc. I feel like these karmics are trying to hold on to get some type of money at least. Well, I can't have you, then I'm going to take all your money or your coin with me. 
But I feel like with this contract here too, these masculine, could, like I said before, could have to go into the legal system to get themselves out of what they got into with the karmic. It of sorts here as well. Some of these karmics are going to jail, y'all. Period. Some of them have been raiding, running shady businesses. Some of these karmics have been using magic and made people sick that they passed away. Some of these karmics have been doing all kinds of trifle and that shit. When they think they're moving in silence, they're really moving in karma. And they're really moving right up into that Eight of Swords. Boom. Because after you came out that damn Seven of Swords, haha, thinking that you were like, you know, you was doing something. Where did you walk right into? Blam. That's a sad reality to be in. And, and I feel like it's happening so quickly. What's the Eight of Swords? With the devil card here, yeah. Because you want it to be toxic and a part of bullshit and madness and play games. Do all That's the thing. That's why I keep on telling y'all, be careful with what you do because you really do not want to wake up feeling some type of way later on. That's why you just got to watch what you do. A lot of y'all karmics, I see a lot of these karmics parading on um, doing magic on people and teaching other karmics how to do dark magic and excusing it and saying, this is all a part of our ancestry. No, I don't think so. You're playing with the devil. And when you play with the devil, you only have one or two choices and outcomes, okay? And we know that. Because you know how that shit goes, all right? So, that's exactly what I see here. We got hella majors in this reading. The high priestess is out here. The hierophant wanted to come out. The emperor, the justice, the death card, the devils right here, the moon, Heavy energy, major transformative energies here. Could be dealing with the Scorpio or a Libra, an Aries, okay, a Pisces, Capricorn here. See, all signs are out here, okay? So, let's now get into messages from the Most Highs, Ascended Master Oracle Deck. Dear Bright and Well Loving Ascended Masters, Bright and Well Loving Ascended Masters, please give us some messages for the collective, please, regarding karmic energies. Messages for the collective regarding karmic energies. Green Terra, Supreme Protection. You are protected. And you are you are guided and protected from these wild, wild, wild. Right? So because you're guided and you're protected by Green Terra, nothing can touch you. Like I said, the more games they played is the more times you won. Because you don't have to play. None of us needed to get on that battlefield. By, the, we, by us stepping away and letting the Most High handle it, we got our justice here. It says you are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitations and trust. Trust that whatever karma, these karmics you want to see them get and that they deserve to get, it's coming. Come on now. Don't rush the most high. Just let him do his, let them do their job. Let her, him, them, they do their job, okay? Diana, focused intention. It says, think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. With this focused intention card and the moon on top of her head, with this moon here too, I feel like a lot of y'all need to um, focus on clearing like whatever moon magic, uh, binding spells, whatever that the karmics have put on you, okay? In order for you to really be uh, ready for the next level of your journey. Because remember, new earth is still integrating. So as they continue to descend down the ladder, you're going to keep on climbing up. So stay focused on your path and your mission at hand. All right, Dear Bright and One Living Ancestors, what messages do you have for the karmic um, energies, please? And they are focused on the foolery, too. Yeah, but because they focus, you know, they use their mind power for fuckery and nonsense and madness. They misuse and abuse their energy. I talked about that earlier. They're going to be experiencing karma. So it says the Miriam, sacred vision, very powerful Gemini energy here. It says, choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So what I feel from this is, okay, these karmic cause hella drama and chaos and whatnot. So I feel like what you need to just focus on is just focus on healing from what they did. Okay? If there is the legal proceedings, paperwork, document, of course, do that. But just try to focus on, like, getting your energy out of being courted in conflict with them. Because remember, they're, sp they're narcissists. They survive and thrive off of energy and doing petty trifling ta tactics. And then turning around and running and crying and playing victim when they get exposed because they can't handle the heat. Shit. I ain't never been the one for that. Where they do you at? All right. Let's see what Goddess Isis has to say. Or Asar. That's Isis's real name is Asar. And um, Osiris is Osset, I believe. No, it's Osset and Osar. 
Okay, let's get into this. Dear Bright and One Living Ancestors, what messages do you have for the collective regarding karmic energies, karmic partners, karmic families, karmic workplaces? What messages do you have? What messages do you have for us regarding karmic energies? All right, here we go. It says, Spirit of Isis, beloved initiate, there are times to surrender and let go, but there are never times to give up. Persist with your bold faith and inspired action until the impossible happens. Isis has the spirit of triumph and will never fail in her quest, no matter how bold or impossible it seems. Let her inspire you. Believe. You guys have to also know, too, that these karmics are getting past life karma, y'all. With these Saturn and Pluto conjunctions, it's seriously heavy right now. There are a lot of them are getting past life karma, and they don't even know it, though. But remember, a lot of them brought past life mental illness and karma, mental illness and, and negative behaviors, and etc., and dark magic and shit like that into this lifetime. That's why they're going to be dealing with this. The high priestess sees all. She's all knowing. She got your Akashic records ready to read you. Ready to gun you down. <laughs> so, anyways, with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this karmic channeling just as much as I did. Once again, my name is Daisy, a.k.a. the professional high priestess, okay? If you need a reading, all that information is in the description box below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.